Okay, I am going to go over in more detail about hip extension, okay, and what this is and what it looks like and what it should feel like. Um, so hip extension is very, very important for, um, glute, for building glutes and glute engagement, okay? So hip extension is involved in the hip thrust, the RDL, Bulgarian split squat. So anytime hips are coming forward like this, okay, so Bulgarian split squat. RDL, you know, hip thrust, all of that, that is what hip extension is. So along with that, what I want to talk about what full hip extension is, okay? Because a lot of people, they'll do this hip extension, but they won't get to full hip extension. So I'm going to use um, an RDL as an example. So. When you do an RDL, you're going to pick up the weight. You're then thinking about hinging hips back. And as you come forward, you're then going to, to reach full hip extension, you're going to posteriorly rotate your pelvis. Okay, so your pelvis rotates forward like this. Okay, so it is not a it's not a, a, a bend in your lower back, okay? It is not this, that's hyperextension, we don't want that, okay? So it is a slight pelvic tilt, and you'll notice when I do that, my glutes get that last really good squeeze. So this is really, really important. Now, some people think it's all about that. And that's not the case either. So it's a combination of before you start a movement, your glutes should be nice and tight. And you should be keeping them tight, keeping them tight as you descend, keeping them tight as you come up, and then getting that posterior, posterior rotation in your pelvis, but then also continuing to squeeze. Okay, so what people do is they think it's you know, they don't have like tension or, or mind to muscle connection in their glutes and then they come up and then they squeeze, you know, or they rock with it and that's not, you know, that's not what we're trying to get at. So, um, so that full hip extension is the tilting of your pelvis, okay? You're going to almost think of like, it's like grandma butt and, and so you're, Pelvis is tucked in, and that helps you engage your core as well. Okay, so I'll use another example just because the RDL is really easy, but in other movements it's kind of hard to make that same connection. So I'll go over like with the Bulgarian split squat. Okay, so say I, I first start off with tension in my glute. I'm descending, still have tension, coming up still have tension, and then I get that slight rotation, and then I'm continuing to squeeze on the way down, okay? So the key is, is to keep that tension there before and after you do that pelvic tilt, okay? You wanna keep those that muscle engaged that you're trying to work, okay? Um, and that's gonna help you get a lot more out of your lifts. Um, Okay, so there you go. That's something to work on with lots of your lifts in addition to keeping that mind and muscle connection in the right muscle groups as you perform the movement.